Thank you, Father, for reaching people all over the world, Lord, with your love. Father, there are no limits with your love. Even as you have given us the commission to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. We thank you, Father, that today, Lord, the gospel is being preached. Even to people who have never heard it, Lord, for the first time even. We thank you, God, that your word is coming as a two-edged sword and speaking to their hearts, Lord. And Lord, we pray for those who are searching the meaning of life, for those who think that wandering is their more to life. We thank you, God, today that you're bringing answers to them, Lord, and solutions to the questions that they have. And Father, I thank you that the revelation of love of who you are is coming to the hearts of people, Lord, that we serve you, God, because we love you, Lord. Because you are our Father, Lord, and I thank you for revelation of righteousness to come into your people today, Lord. That's what we're going to sing about today. We're going to sing songs on the blood of Jesus and the plan that he has for us. You know, in Hebrews 4.16, the Bible says that we can come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. When you think about it, what kind of a God would, would say, you can just come into my presence? It has to be a God of love to say, you can come boldly to my presence and to my throne. And the only way is through the sacrifice of Jesus that he has made for us. Let's sing this song. This song says, you've made a way for me to come boldly. Aren't you thankful that as a Christian you can walk freely into the presence of God? It's such a wonderful thing to know that. So let's worship the Lord today and say, Father, I thank you because of the blood of Jesus, I can come into your presence. Hallelujah. Let's rejoice in the Lord this morning. I believe that we have no fear. We don't have to fear anything that is in this world because we have the authority given to us over any kind of fear or any kind of sickness or virus that is going around in this world, we have authority in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's sing it out. You made a way for me to come in and bowl into your prayer.
use your healing. You know, many times, even at, at our place, at our home, I just remember many times whenever the enemy tried to attack us with sickness and disease, my parents would always say, the blood of Jesus has set you free. The blood of Jesus has healed you. And I believe that we need the blood constantly as a reminder on our lips. Constantly, God, to say, Lord, I thank you. The blood is protecting me from any kind of sickness and disease, protecting your home, protecting your things. You've got such a great power that has been given to you through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's sing the chorus one more time. Let's remember the blood has set us free. It's because of the blood we can live this life of healing. Hallelujah. Let's sing it together. Because your blood has redeemed me. Your blood has restored me. Your blood has forgiven all my sins. And your blood bought me healing. Your blood has set me free. Jesus, now I stand. Redemption is now complete And now you are alive Raised from death to life You see it on high You've overcome How great the mystery
see who you are, the mystery now revealed. You tore the veil and you conquered the grave. Redemption is now complete. Now you are alive. Yes, you are. was revealed to us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. The gospel was a mystery. We see when Jesus died on the cross, people didn't understand why was a good man dying on the cross. It was a mystery once to people. People didn't understand why they had to come to God offering sacrifices of animals. It was still a mystery 
until God was able to use people like Paul and Peter to reveal the mystery to us. People didn't understand because Jesus was a good man dying on a cross, but they didn't know that that was the redemption plan of God. Which is why this song says, how great is the mystery unveiled for us to see. It's no longer a mystery. It's no longer a secret why Jesus died on the cross. Now we know that he died to give us eternal life. He died to bring us back to the Father. And sometimes you might think that the things of God are a mystery, can't be understood. But the Lord wants to tell you today that in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, that God is able to reveal the hidden things by his Spirit to you. So you don't have to think that, God, it's a mystery, I can't understand you. The more you meditate the Word of God and the more you come to God as a Father and you fellowship with Him, He's going to reveal His mysteries and His secrets to you. He says it's no longer hidden from you. Maybe there are things in your life that you feel are hidden from you, but through the Spirit, as you pray in the Spirit, as you worship the Lord with songs and you take Scripture, God is going to start opening your eyes to see things that you never could see before. That's why it's such a great thing. And if there are things in your life today right now that seem like a mystery you can't understand, as you fellowship with God, as you worship Him, God is going to open your eyes to see those things. Maybe you have some choices or decisions to make. and You're not sure what God is saying. But I believe as you listen to the Word of God and you fellowship with Him, God is going to open your eyes and He's going to reveal what you need to know. Because God is not a mysterious God. He says He's revealed the mysteries to us. In 1 Corinthians 2, that's what He says. It might be a mystery to the world, but not to us as believers. We can know the plans that God has for us. But He will reveal them to you step by step. We serve a good God. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. Just begin to lift your hands up right now. And I believe there are things in your life that you need counsel and understanding the Lord is here to minister to you and he's here to give you wisdom and understanding Father God I pray Lord for those who are in situations where they need wisdom and counsel Heavenly Father you have said that eye has not seen ear has not heard the things that you have planned for us but Lord you have said that you're revealing them by your spirit to us so Father God I pray right now that today even as the word is preached even today, Lord, that you're revealing your plans for your people, O oh Lord. Lord, I pray for a desire that you put in your people to fellowship with you, Lord, through which they can know the plans that you have for them. And Lord, the best part is your plans are always good to prosper us, to give us a hope and a future. We receive it, Lord. We receive it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Let's sing this simple song. Thank you, Lord, for setting me free from bondage. Aren't you thankful that you're set free from bondage? You know, remember that before Jesus Christ, we were in darkness. People who don't have the Lord are in darkness. But when you have Jesus living in you, you are walking in the light. Let's thank the Lord for setting us free from bondage. Say 
so good to us. Let's make these declarations. You know, the word of God says that no plague can touch you. You don't have to fear anything that's going on around because you have the power of God surrounding you. We're going to say some more confessions from the daily confession. These are healing promises that you can speak over your life, over your physical body. And as the more you speak the word, the more you're going to see your body responding to the things of God. Let's say together, body, body. I speak the word of faith to you. I demand every internal organ perform a perfect work. For you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, I charge you in the name of the Lord and by the authority of his holy word to be healed and made whole in Jesus' name. Father, I resist the enemy in every form that he comes against me. I require my body to be strong and healthy and I enforce it with your word. I reject the curse and I speak life into my body. I shall not die, but I will live and declare the works of the Lord. For you have satisfied me with long life. Hallelujah. You've blessed my food and my water. You've taken sickness away from me. Therefore, I will fulfill the number of my days in health. Amen. Isn't that wonderful to say the word of God? Amen. You can also, there's a book for children as well called Power, Prayers and Promises. So some of these promises are put, you know, in a format where children also can speak them out. So it's downstairs in the bookshop. It's called Power, Prayers and Promises. Amen.